Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well, if you see the little sticker here on the side of the box, you know what this means. Cartridges for small arms. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little unboxing and a quick range test of ammunition from Sports Shooters Ammunition based out of Harrison, Arkansas, if I'm not mistaken. Now, Sports Shooters Ammunition is a brand new ammunition manufacturing company. It's a very small um, operation, but they are going to be turning out a very high quality product and I'm getting fantastic prices on this ammo. Now we'll talk about the details when we get into the unboxing. We're going to see what you can expect when you order from this company. I did pay regular retail price for this ammunition according to what um, SSA charges for the ammo. I got no discounts, no freebies. I went ahead and bought it. I'm going to try it. There may be some possible discounts in the future for things like gun channels, members, and so on. But I wanted to support the company and help them get started. And there's a reason specifically why I bought from the company. Well, the first reason is because my buddy Foose, he goes by the name of Foose on GunChannels.com and also on uh, YouTube, he is the founder of the company. And uh, the second reason why is because I'm kind of getting tired of supporting the big box stores for ammo. Um, I don't have a lot of gun dealers around that I can buy ammunition from. Yeah, you can order it online. I don't mind doing that, but sometimes the shipping charges are really excessive. Sometimes you just don't quite get the exact lowest prices that you really want. So Sports Shooters Ammunition is offering an alternative for people that do a lot of shooting. And by the way, the founder of the company, Foose, he is a competitive shooter. And the guy knows what he's doing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack the box open and see what you can expect. Okay, guys. So one of the things that I wanted to do is to run a heavier grain bullet through my 9mm pistols just to try it. I'm so tired of running 115 grain federal brass. I've been using it for years on the channel. I wanted to try something a little bit different. Well, the only problem is if I want to shop locally, 115 grain uh, full metal jacket federal is some of the least expensive ammo I can buy. I'm looking at roughly $9 a box for a box of 50, which isn't bad, but then I got to pay sales tax and I got to run out to Walmart. And y'all know you can't go out to Walmart and not buy stuff that you don't need, right? So let's just go ahead and open up the box and see what you can expect if you order from Sports Shooters Ammunition. This is pretty cool stuff. He's got, uh, Foose has a really neat uh, setup for loading the ammunition, and we'll talk about the ammunition itself here in just a moment. Um, you're getting a very high quality product, and uh, from a person that has the experience uh, running through a lot of ammunition every year. So you open it up, here's what your boxes are gonna look like, okay? Again, you are totally supporting the small gun, the uh, small ammo producer, right? Okay, you get a nice box you can use. If you reload, you can put your brass back in there. Okay, here we go. So we do have a polymer coated bullet, which is fine with me. Um, Foos shoots this uh, exclusively through his competition guns, if I'm not mistaken, but he has always said that he's never had a problem with it, and I'll be just running this through a couple different nine millimeters on the channel. Uh, again, the ammunition looks great. Again, all the cases are checked. So about this ammunition, okay, it is reloaded ammunition. Uh, the brass is once fired brass that Foos buys from police range suppliers, so you're getting a very high quality brass when you get it. Obviously, it's been tumbled and cleaned. It's been, you know, sized properly. Each round is checked to make sure that you don't have any issues. All right, and we will go out to the range here in just a little bit and test it out. Okay, so I've got some information from Foos that I want to share with you guys. So these are $9 for a box of 50. Again, we don't have to pay sales tax on this here in Nebraska. You might benefit the same way. So that's immediately saving me money versus what I spent up at Walmart. These are 125 grain. And uh, again, they are a polymer coated lead bullet. The rounds are roll size and case gauge before packaging. Okay, so you're not gonna have to worry about any issues when you go to run this through your firearm. Uh, it says that the customer pays the actual shipping. So on 500 rounds, I paid uh, 20 bucks for shipping. So I got 500 rounds for, I believe, $110 delivered and that includes everything. And you know, the nice thing is, you're not getting it uh, just bulk dumped in a box. You don't have to worry about the cases getting all banged up or being shorted on your rounds. Everything is packaged up nice and neat. All the boxes are in here. And I'm really looking forward to going through this and just shooting you know, a heavier round than what I was using before. Again, I was kind of looking forward to it. And the thing is, it's hard for me to get anything other than the 115 grain locally. Otherwise, I have to you know, large, order a large amount. And sometimes you do, unless you, you, know, unless you buy 1,000 rounds, many times from a lot of the companies that you go through, you gotta pay a pretty heavy shipping fee, like $30. Uh, you know, I paid $17, $18 on three or four boxes of ammo that I needed from a company just because I needed it. So Foos is not making uh, any money at all off the shipping. I can tell you that right now. And a nine bucks per box of 50, uh, you are definitely going to be getting your money's worth. And again, you're supporting a little guy. And if anything, it's not costing you much more, if anything, than what you're currently spending from buying your ammunition from the big box stores. Uh, it took me, I believe, less than seven days to get this. And I'm in central Nebraska uh, from Arkansas. And again, 
Everything comes packaged nice and neat. I can just grab a box or two every time I go to the range. I can key my brass if I want to. <clears throat> now, if you want to actually reach Foos, here's some contact information for you. If you want to go ahead and place an order if you're interested. Again, as the company grows, you can expect, you know, the big websites and all that fun stuff to pop up. So if you're interested in this ammunition, you want to go to sportshootersammunition at gmail.com and you can email Foos through that. It's F-U-S-S. -S. Um, Sports Shooters Ammunition on Facebook and SS Ammo on gunchannels.com. So that's um, S capital S capital S capital A, okay, SS Ammo on gunchannels.com and you can find it over there and you can reach Foos that way too. So again, sportshootersammunition at gmail.com if you want to email directly. Otherwise, check out Sports Shooters Ammunition on Facebook. Okay guys, I've emptied out the ammunition from two of my Glock 17 magazines and the two magazines from my Ruger EC9S and I'm going to grab four boxes out of here, just random boxes. I'm going to fill um, the, ma the magazines up with ammunition from four of those boxes. So we kind of get a good sample of just kind of the spectrum of ammo that comes out of it. It's not all going to just come from one box. And whatever you guys are going to see is going to happen in real time when we're shooting. So if something happens, something happens, who knows. So who said that he put something in the box for me? I don't know what's in here. By the way, here's all my defensive ammo. It's all gone. When we get to the range, I'm going to show you the magazine so you can see that they are in fact unloaded with um, ammunition from Sport Shooters Ammunition, okay? And so here's two, two boxes. Ah, all right. Okay, so so here's the story. Uh, a couple of years ago, for the first time I started really chatting with Foos, um, we were with Matt and Never Enough Ammos uh, chat, pre-chat, and I was looking at buying a Makarov from J&G Sales. They had a great deal on these uh, Makarovs. And uh, Foos and I put them in our shopping carts. We were shopping online at the same time, and we were not, uh, you know, we were in two separate locations. Foos bought his, and I went to go buy mine. I put in my credit card information to buy it, and uh, it was gone. They were sold out. They sold out. There was nothing that said limited quantity. So Foos gave me a patch, and it says, here is your Mac. Here is your Mac, Rob. This is... This is beautiful, this is cool, this is awesome, all right? But this is just not my unicorn. This is not the Makarov that's supposed to be in my home. So it's kind of a big deal. I give him a hard time just because, you know, I, that Makarov should be mine. Oh yes, it should be mine. So here's your Mac from Foos. Now you're probably not gonna get a patch like this unless Foos comes along and just steals that Makarov out of your hands before you check out. But Foos, thank you very much. Gotta love the morale patch. I'm going to put this on my hat and just wear it all the time now on my morale patch hat except for the second of the month, which is every second matters, so, wow, wow, I don't, okay, this is too much, let's continue, let's continue, okay, so, anyway, um, it's funny stories like that, right, okay, and then there's two more boxes, so here are four random boxes, and then these are the two that are on top, I'm just going to push them off to the side, I want to grab four from the middle just to have four, all right, and then it looks like I've got some stickers, um, okay, sports shooters, Ammunition, if I keep saying association, I'm gonna go crazy. So here's a couple stickers and there's the logo that he designed for it. Very cool. All right, so I got some stickers. We'll definitely pass some of those out to people uh, as some little giveaways for the, for the uh, channel. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the mags real quick. We'll open the first box here. Um, I wanna run them, like I said, through two different extremes of firearm, the Ruger EC9S and also the G17, my Glock, which feeds about anything. I've never had a problem with it. Uh, the Ruger, I've just basically run the uh, Federal ball ammo through it. So we're gonna go ahead and put our seven rounds. Two, three, five, six, and seven, seven rounds in the first mag. Okay, there we go, done. <clears throat> All right, second magazine. Okay, again, next seven rounds. And I've never actually fired uh, polymer uh, bullets or polymer-coated bullets or any of my firearms before. I know that. I think CCI, I think Blazer might come like that. So there's a certain type of Blazer ammo you can get that has the, uh, the polymer to it. So, okay, there's my other seven. Okay, got that all taken care of. That's the next box. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, fill up the block mags. I'm going to fill them up if you guys want to fast forward ahead to the range footage, feel free to. Um, the next scene you're going to see is going to be me at our public range, not the private range that I belong to. Um, unfortunately, the um, private range I belong to is just an absolute mud pit right now. Getting out there, getting in, getting to the pistol part, it's just not worth the hassle, especially when all I'm going to do is burn through four mags and then turn around and come back home. So. 
The public range that I go to, well, I don't go to it that often, but it's like 10 minutes from my house. It's just kind of out in the country. And um, you sometimes have seen me doing some shooting. If you see vehicles driving behind me just off in the distance, it actually goes along Interstate 80. And uh, it's close enough that it's grandfathered in. So you can shoot relatively close to the interstate. You're probably taking shots probably 50 yards off Interstate 80. Um, but again, it's been there forever, so it doesn't have to follow necessarily the rules that, say, a new firing fire range has to have. So, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. That's uh, 17 rounds, okay? And the Glock mag, the first Glock mag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the magazines and mark the boxes. So if I have problems with any of this ammunition, I'll know exactly which box it came from because this all could come from the same lot or it might have come at different production times. I don't know. Okay, so let's fill up uh, magazine number four here. Again, this is really a lot different than any of the other videos I've ever done. I've done some Freedom Munitions reloads. I've burned through a thousand rounds of that in various pistols that I own. Never had a problem with those guys. Um, again, I'm just buying from Foos because, again, small business, just getting started. And uh, fantastic prices, you know, delivered to the door quickly. And there's a lot of places you can go through for ammo. I know a lot of people will just look up certain websites that give you the prices per round and they just go through there. Um, which is, you know, always a good thing too, but I always like to try something different for the channel. And there is number 17. All right, so when we come back, we're going to be at my uh, private range, or sorry, public range. <clears throat> just going to take the shots, burn through the magazines, and just see if it functions well. If there's any problems, you're going to see it happen on camera. Uh, and I'm going to go <laughs> find a home for my new Makarov. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. <clears throat> Okay guys, here we go. We've got the sport shooter's ammunition in the magazine, the whole mag, all the way around. Okay, Glock 17. Let's try it out. Yeah, initial felt recoil, not bad at all. Ran the entire 17 rounds, no problems, no misfeeds. Let's keep going. Next mag is 17. If you can see that, they're loaded all the way down there. All right. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's back up so you can see it. All right, no problems there. It passed the Glock 17 test, we're good to go. All right, let's try it with the Ruger EC9S. All right, let's see with the Ruger EC9S. We only have seven rounds in this one. Okay, magazine's loaded. You saw me load them up in the kitchen. All right, let's try it out and see what happens. All right, locked open, no problems there, no issues. All right, one more mag and we're good to go. Okay, next magazine's all loaded up. See the blue pill in there? Okay, all right. All right, here we go. All right, so the next test will be for me to take the guns apart, just look them over, see if we have a lot of carbon buildup or if it looks really dirty or not. Um, I'm gonna clean them anyway, so no problems there. So there you go, guys. That is our quick little range test of the um, Sport Shooters Ammunition 125 grain polymer covered ammo. Ran it through the Ruger EC9S with no problems and the Glock 17 Gen 4 with no issues whatsoever. 
Guys, thanks for joining us today. I want you to check out Sports Shooters Ammunition, and I'll have a link in the description box down below as well as in the comment section for you. If you haven't experienced with this ammo, make sure you put it in the video. I'm going to give it two thumbs up right now, and it looks like I've got a new supplier for 9mm. And there is discussion at some point of expanding to other calibers down the road. Uh, but otherwise, guys, if you like what you see, please like or subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on GunChannels.com. We got a podcast called Caliber Corner. It's on Saturday morning at 8 a.m. over on GunChannels.com, 8 a.m. Central Time. Various topics that we cover every week. We're coming up on episode number 76 this weekend. Make sure you do check it out. Otherwise, guys, like or subscribe. Make sure you mash that button so you don't miss notifications. And as always, guys, I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe. Find cheap ammo that's going to work, and we will talk to you soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye.